Hi everyone, this is Paige here from the Page Studio. Today I'm going to give you a really quick introduction to blogging with Squarespace, what the blog editor looks like, um, and then also how to write your first post. So the first thing you want to do is go into your blog page and click the plus button. This will pop up with the post editor. So the first thing we want to do is give our um, blog a title. So I have got my title right here. I'm going to paste it in. And then we want to um, add some information to this post. So I'm going to start writing in my post text, or you can copy and paste it from something like a notes app. Um, if you copy and paste your text from somewhere such as a um, email or a Word document, sometimes it brings the formatting with it. So I suggest if you want to copy and paste, paste it into your notes app first and then paste it over. So there you have it. I've just pasted in a bunch of text. Now there's some other common blocks that you use to add into Squarespace blog posts as well. So I'll show you those here. So to add something in, you'll notice as I hover over the left hand side of the page, these little insert points come up. So say I want to add um, an image to the very top of my post, I would click on the insert point at the top and then click on the image block. Click add an image and this is the image I want for my post. Now, it will upload right there and the next thing that I want to do is to name my image. So this helps people find my blog post and um, be searched in Google and this is also the text that will come up um, in a Pinterest description. So I want this to say intro to writing a blog post on Squarespace and then I will click apply. So now I have my image above and then my text below that. Um, if you want to edit your text say break it up into headings which is best practice for blogging you can copy over it then click on normal up here and then change it to any of your different heading styles just like a regular word editor you have things such as to center align right align left align you can bold it italicize or make this a link. You just paste in the link that you want it to go to and then you can click if you'd like it to open in a new window or just um, click straight over. Then some other important things to get to is our URL. So once I save this post, it's going to pop up in the left hand side here and now Squarespace automatically creates a URL for your blog post. So it's going to take whatever your title is and then make that the URL of your blog post. However, sometimes it's best practice to shorten them down and make them a little bit shorter and sweeter so that it's not a million words long. So I'm going to go from content over to options and then you'll see here post URL. So intro to writing a blog post on Squarespace video. I think I want this to be a little bit shorter. So I'm going to do intro, blog, post, I don't really want on. Squarespace and I'm going to get rid of video too. So there we go. Now my URL is just intro blog post or intro blog post Squarespace. Um, another good thing to do is to write an excerpt. So this comes up on if you use a summary block anywhere you can click to add an excerpt. So that's generally the first few lines of the post or some sort of teaser text. So I will paste in what would be my excerpt right there. And you can also add a thumbnail image. This here, same thing if you use the summary block or um, share this post on social media, this thumbnail image is the one that will come up. So it also suggests adding a thumbnail image here. And then one of the other fantastic things that Squarespace does is you can schedule your blog post to send at a later time. So you don't need to be on your computer when you actually want your blog post to um, go live. So currently my blog post is in draft format. However, I can click here to publish the post now um, or schedule it for later. So say I want this to go out to 
tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. I just type in the time, click like so, and then I click save. Now once you've scheduled it and then click save, this post will automatically go out at that time. So make sure that you're all finished up. Clearly this one isn't done for me yet. Um, I will also be doing a video in the future to describe the tags and categories, how that works um, and how you can use that to organize your blog post content. So if you'd like, um, head to the description below and I'll leave my blog link there. You can come on back and find that video in the future.